I have seen for myself what happens when wild narratives gain traction. The attempted insurrection three years ago was propelled by unfounded stolen election claims. And I've witnessed how conspiracies have prompted militia groups to march down American streets. You're heavily armed and on the streets of an American city. I wondered who you are. Not giving it out. Which militia? Not giving it out. Fearing a repeat of January the 6th, I have come to see how some Trump supporters, those heavily armed and with strong faith, are preparing not to initiate violence, but to be ready for societal breakdown if Joe Biden wins in November. Greg, can I ask you to pray? Sure. Father, we're so grateful that we could spend some time training. Father, to protect others, to protect our nation. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. The Rod of Iron Church is a Christian evangelical group where guns and God are weaved into a fiercely pro-Trump and anti-government view of the world. Hey, Pastor Sean, how are you? Hey, Robert. Good nice to see you. Nice Thank you for you. letting me into your compound. Pastor Sean is the leader of this congregation where the AR-15 assault rifle is seen as a divine instrument for defending God-given freedoms. What does Rod of Iron mean? It means the modern-day sword or the modern-day musket. It's more important for the citizens to have these weapons yes. than the government. 100%. That authority comes from God and that ability to defend yourself, family, and your country from tyrants, including a, a runaway government that has become tyrannical. Uh, that is the God's greatest gift to humanity to preserve freedom and liberty for all. It is immediately clear where political loyalties lie. I need one more indictment to ensure my election. <laughs> one more indictment to ensure my election. Probably a couple more, but the more they indict him, I think the more popular he's going to become. He's going to become more legendary. I mean, that's he's going to become more. I can't compute that. You're saying the he's more, more he's charged. More a star. Yeah, more of a star because he's being charged unjustly. I think it's, it's galvanized everybody. And uh, a lot of folks from different communities now are moving towards Trump. And the support has support become greater because of the kind of draconian tactics that the left has done under Biden. Look at what they're doing. Look at how hard they're coming at me. Four different indictments, RICO charges. In weekly sermons that air on the church's conservative social media channels. When you ask them now the polls, does the country feel galvanized, divided? Yes. Everybody says, yeah, I feel, it feels divided. Pastor Sean talks of Trump's alleged persecution. They were trying to take him off the balance, saying he's an insurrectionist. Like many fringe groups in America, members here are preparing for worst case scenarios. A recent poll found that 85% of Americans are worried about escalating political violence. If Joe Biden is re-elected, what does that mean for America? I think it means that, you know, America will be in peril. That will be a tragic uh, beginning of a sharp, quick decline of the world falling into tyranny. If Trump loses in November and there is a narrative on the right that the election has been stolen, what happens then, uh, Pastor Sean? I, I think the militia movement will, will rise. Counties will build official militias. Every year, this church holds festivals celebrating their right to bear arms. Rod of Iron followers display their loyalty to the one man who they believe stands between them and chaos. He's getting persecuted for standing up for the people and not the establishment. And so that's why I think people resonate with him. If he loses, people are going to be praying a lot.
dramatic election year, Americans are bracing for a bitter political fight in which the Republic itself may be at stake. It is clear to me that the progressive coalition that elected Biden in 2020 is in danger of collapse. Trump is seeing his criminal trials as a political gift, believing it underpins his image as a rebel and a martyr. Much remains unclear. How will Americans react to a presidential candidate on trial, perhaps convicted and jailed? Does that turn opinion against him or further his argument? It leaves Donald Trump at the center of the American storm, a savior to some, an existential danger to others. This country now faces a profound reckoning.